to have trees, if you've got a tree with a root ball that's 12 or 14 inches deep, but extremely fibrous and ready to grow horizontally, the chances of that tree surviving and doing well in a very adverse city restricted space with terrible soil anyway is much, 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 much greater as opposed to a tree dug with a tree spade field grown where A, you have to have new roots initiated at the cut face of the old roots and you're, you're, you're doing so quite often, you know, 12, 14, 18, 20 inches deep in the ground. And uh, plus the other thing is with these trees, you don't have to stake them, you know, which is, which is another another big plus with this big horizontal root system. I'd much rather have a broad, shallow root system than a tall, deep root system. There's not much difference than the pistache. Just... And this is what I want to see. I want to see lots of small roots and none of those thumb size, wrist size, arm size things sticking out there. And again, you know, they, there are people that are so accustomed to seeing those great big roots cut size of 50 cent pieces and so forth, they think those are important. You say, well, gosh, you got to have those to, for the strength to hold the tree up. But my challenge to them is, if you've got a half inch diameter steel rod and a half inch diameter braided steel cable, which one is stronger? The cable is. A whole, just mass of these fine roots are much stronger than a few great big roots. But that's what you get when you plant trees grown that way.